and welcome to the Codex Cantina, where I am Una. And I'm ready to punch you in the face, Crypto. No, I'm oh. just kidding. I'm Crypto. What are we doing? We are insulting each other on our September TBR videos, what we're doing. So weren't we supposed to do that on our 1,000 video? <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll just do it here and there. Who cares? Yeah, yeah. All right, All so right, what, what are we, we doing? What are we doing in September? <laughs> September, we have part of, at least into October, we have the National Hispanic Heritage Month. Each year, Americans observe National Hispanic Heritage Month from September 15th to October 15th by celebrating the histories, cultures, and contributions of American citizens whose ancestors came from Spain, Mexico, the Caribbean, and the Central and South America. So all the good Latin stuff. This is exciting because I have not read it any of these stories yeah well i was just talking to our friend angela from the literature science alliance i will put a link to her channel down below but uh, she kind of even said like well i don't even know why well why why september 15th like why does it start in the middle of the month which is a fair question because usually these months like when we did russian heritage month it was the whole month right here we have right. september 15th through october 15th and the story is that the day of September 15th is significant because it's the anniversary of the independence for five Latin American countries, Costa Rica, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, and Nicaragua. Don't ever do that again. <laughs> I visited uh, Guatemala, and the best part is that they sell these shirts that, that say, whatever, man, but it's you... G U A T instead of Oh, that's cool. <laughs> oh, that's funny. You still have that shirt? that shirt? You should wear. No, no, no. It. We we bought it for my friend's dad actually. Oh, okay. Cool. 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 All right. So as you've said, the idea is to expand our awareness of other cultures. Yeah, and I think these are the the best avenue to do that besides taking classes and talking to these people is to read their stories about their culture and their experiences of life. So hit me. What do you got? All right. So over like again, it starts September fifteenth through October fifteenth. So it's five short stories. We're going to do three this month and two next month. So the three okay. that we're doing this month, Clarice Lispector's The Crime of the Mathematics Professor. And get excited for that because Clarice Lispector has been blowing up the world. Like her writing has like something has happened. It's 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 exploding in the literary word world. Hello, Clarice. <laughs> Would you like lima with beans? A nice, with like lima beans and a nice Chianti. Chianti? Cool. Is that like a murder with math? No clue. Never. I've never read any of these stories, so don't. I'm expecting oh. you to carry me. Okay, first of oh. all. All right. So next we have Julio Ramon Ribeiro, the Featherless Buzzards, which is a. I think that might be one of the most popular like Latin short stories. That one sounds vaguely familiar. Vaguely. Super popular. Super okay. popular. I actually bought a uh, Julio Ramon Ribeiro's um, short story collection, but it didn't have the Featherless Brothers in it, I don't think. Do you know when that was, was written? Up. Like, could I have read that maybe in high school or college? That one was written in 1955. Okay, so I definitely could have read it then. Oh, for sure. Okay. It's one of the most popular okay. ones. Now, I have not, I believe, but I have read some of his other short stories, and I will double check the collection to see if that one was in there, because I think it also is called, like, The Buzzards, as opposed to The Featherless Buzzards. Always translation questions. Okay. Well, I mean, when I read it, obviously, I'll be like, oh, yeah, I remember reading this one, or I'll be like, nope, I totally lied. <laughs> no. Up next, we have Esteban Echeverria, The Slaughter well, That's a cool last name. I Slaughter might have, Yard. I, I might have murdered that too. So pronunciation questions through all these. The yeah. The slaughter yard. So, is that, that's going to be like uh, the jungle. Okay. Mm, I bet that's all mm. going to be about like killing pigs and something um, like that. So, I would be willing to bet that that is a metaphor. All right. Now those I'm are going the with three. Literal. I'm going with literal. Those are the three that we're doing this month. Now, obviously, next month we will trail over into Luisa Mercedes Levinson's The Clearing and Maria Luisa Bombal, The Tree. Okay. El Arbol. <laughs> oh, is that for a tree in Spanish? I believe so, if I remember okay. correctly. Now, I, watch, I will take your word for it. Watch, watch our friend... Uh, Angela, look at this and just be like, oh, please never do that again, Una. I am trying, give me credit for wanting to immerse myself, okay? Just let, let this happen. Is she Spanish? Or Latin? I will let her divulge. I don't know if she's publicly divulged. Uh, oh, I don't know okay. what she's pub publicly divulged about her heritage. I will oh, okay. let her let her explain that. Yeah, definitely so not our it, place. 
Yeah, so in terms of other short stories, we've got a very packed month for short stories. This is going to be awesome. Ready for this one? I'm ready. All right, we're doing Leo Tolstoy's A Prisoner in the Caucasus for our Tolstoy Triggered Project along with Noah from Everyone Who Reads It Must Converse. All right, always got that Tolstoy. Love it. Hit me with the next one. Alice Ruth Dunbar. Alice Ruth Dunbar Nelson, A Carnival Jangle. Okay. Cool. Cool. We're returning to your boy, Ray Bradbury, our sci-fi, oh, yeah. liter- our sci-fi literary fictionist with the Foghorn. Oh, the Foghorn. Yeah, buddy. Get excited for that one. Now, we've got a younger reader story, too. We've got Roald Dahl's The Landlady. I think that's his most famous adult work, but I think when it comes to adult work, I think that's more like YA, if you will. It's still very instructional, still very here's how you read, like here's ways to break down literature. Still yeah. on the younger end. Yeah, you could probably get away with that in high school. Yeah. All right, next up, we've got William Faulkner's Shingles for the Lord. So you hit us for The Sound of the Fury, you break my brain, and now you're just cramming more Faulkner in there. We have to get you your Faulkner certificate. No okay. excuses, kind sir. Okay, okay, I can do it. I can do it. Now, last but not least is James Joyce, The Boarding House. Ooh, this is a, there's no way I'm going to be able to pick a pick of the month. There's no way. I tell you right now, we're, there's no way. We're working through we're working through the Dubliners throughout this year. Okay, and next year we're going to keep working through all the stories through the Dubliners. We're working towards our Faulkner certificate. We got Roald Dahl with more of an educational series. Ray Bradbury from a sci-fi perspective. Alice Ruth Dunbar Nelson from the Jang. Oh, just this is going to be such a good month. We have we have all of these great uh, Latin origin stories. I just I don't know how you're going to survive this month, crypto. This is going to be a really good month. I I bet we don't have anything below a seven. I w- I wouldn't be surprised if that's true. Now, in terms of manga. I am continuing the journey down One Piece with volumes 24 through 46. And interestingly enough, there's some um, hashtag Scallywagathon. We're not participating in it directly, but I will point people who are like, oh, I like pirates. There is this Scallywagathon, readathon happening. We're low key kind of participating in it with reading, you know, over probably 5,000 pages of pirate adventures here with One Piece, but. I will point that out that there is a whole readathon dedicated to pirates happening this month if you're into that sort of thing. I didn't know that existed. That sounds pretty cool. Maybe next year, either. right? Yeah, maybe. Maybe next year. You never know. But I'm low key pirating it up with One Piece because you don't get more piratey than One Piece, in my opinion. Wait, wait, wait. We do know because you have the schedule out that far. So we do know. No, no, no. I, I've I've only gone up through um, July. June, and, June and July of 2021. I haven't gotten to September yet. Oh, <laughs> kind of okay. kind of leave some wiggle room in there, right? <laughs> right, right. Now novels technically we're we're falling over into September with William Faulkner's The Sound and the Fury. We're kind of wrapping that up, so we'll we'll wrap up the final vestiges of that effort. Okay, and then yeah, and then last but not least, <laughs> least our boy Timothy Zahn's Thrawn Ascendancy Book One: Chaos Rising, a new book. In the Thrawn, is it origin trilogy? story trilogy? <laughs> yeah, it's it's going to be a trilogy. It's already cl- Disney's already told you you're spending money on all three of these. You're going to trilogy this up. So is this one before? I think or so. After the new one, I think before. So we met Thrawn as he tricked the Empire. Rather cleverly, remember, like he put the battery pack on like the like, the local wildlife. Uh, it was yeah. really interesting the way he snuck onto that ship. So, I believe all three okay. of these are before he with, gets with his. Vonto. Okay. Because because remember how he got exiled and they're like oh you know the preemptive yeah. strike. I think that's the story that we're most likely going to tell with this story because Dave Filoni was really just with like the most recent Thrones like put Timothy's on in a box and it just really killed those <laughs> that last Thrawn treason story. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they did. They they really. He, they they wrote him into a corner, which is really unfortunate. They did. Yeah, they did. yeah. So, the only way to revive cool. him, they they say, is uh, not revive him, but the only way to bring him back in the fold is prequel stuff like this, I guess, or maybe the Mandalorian. So we'll see. Which, we'll see. Which I'm down for. I'm excited for this. This is going to be um, 
We'll see how we do with some of our other stuff. I think we're going to wrap up, obviously, Way of Kings this month here, too. But we're going to try and have, for stuff where it doesn't make sense to provide the literary lens, we'll still do some literary analysis, but it doesn't mean it should go through the whole process, like the Zahn story. We're going to try and have some more fun with it as opposed to a direct literary breakdown. Let's have some fun with it, right? Like that, We'll, we'll figure yeah. out what we're going to do with that one. Yeah, and I'm going to try to scram, uh, cram in Peace Talks, too. I don't know, with 15 short stories, it might be tough since school's starting back again. But we'll see. We'll see how how me and Harry Dresden do. Oh, <laughs> it's time to put on that backpack. I will carry you through this as I do usually. Aww. <laughs> Aww. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate that. <laughs> Is it October yet? <laughs> I'm actually looking forward to October. I'm kind of curious. Um, we need no to spoilers. talk about... Well, we need to talk about what's our scary reads for oh. October. I don't, I don't want to do a month of it. Like, we're not a horror channel. Like, go to Brad Proctor if you want to do all horror, more or less. We're not an all horror channel, but I do want to channel some of that. And uh, we got to figure out what we're going to do for our scary reads for October. Yeah, we, we did a little bit of it last year. We didn't do a whole month, but we threw some fun stuff in there. So yeah. we have to come up yeah. with a new good skit or something. Maybe we'll dress up this year. Oh, I dress up every year, my friend. I got I got a three hundred dollar Captain America shield. If you if you didn't know, I did not know, but now I do. I've got a. I'm very serious about my Captain America. Like that's my boy. <laughs> oh, okay. I have I have my Jedi uniform. You got, are you going to use? Are, are you going to use your Jedi Luke lightsaber? Uh, well, it doesn't have an end. I can get my Mace Window one though. It lights up. Did you just say Mace Window? Window, yeah, Mace Window. <laughs> Because he got thrown out the window? The window. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we always call him in the guild is Mace Window. <laughs> oh. All, All right, right guys. guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed today's discussion. Are you looking forward to any of these readings? Are you guys or have you read any of these? We'd love to know in the description box below. We post videos every Monday and Thursday with bonus videos on Tuesday when we can. If you'd like to join us on the fun, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Una out. They can't put anything in the description box. Only you can. Oh. Peace. What am I supposed to say? Comments? <laughs> Comments I'm... below. I love when you're four beers deep. <laughs> this is the four beers, Una. This is the co- this is the quality that you get with four beer, Una. Blooper reel. <laughs> Peace. Blooper reel. No, 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 no. This is, this is straight reel. This is making it on the A reel is what it's going to make it on. <laughs> A reel. B reel. All right. I'm ending it. Peace.